don't deserve all this pain in my chest. I'm a flex. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The FTP fuck pop up is probably going to go down in history as one of the sickest pop ups of all times. But I never actually did an unboxing for that video. So I figured I would unbox and review some of the garments that I got from the FTP fuck collab. Like for example, this beautiful hat, which is so freaking sick. You got this all over like FTP reflective print going around the entire thing. And then of course you have the little fuck patch right there as well. I'm not a big fan of like flat brim hats in general, but the look of this hat is super sick. And so I had to cop because of course you already know I cop the whole reflective tracksuit. I will say I'm kind of disappointed in myself because I got a medium and I don't know why I got a medium top and a medium bottom when I knew I should have got smalls. The bottom is a little bit big. I tried getting small online, but I was not quick enough. And I'm quite sad about that. I almost, like, I feel pretty confident about my online copping abilities, but I went for the smalls. I took the L, but anyways, I still did cop online. So I got some other items that you may not have seen. Well, you, you saw it all. I just got duplicates online, basically. Obviously I copped everything in store except for the army men hoodie. I wasn't a big fan of that design personally. Like I knew they were still gonna kill it. So I wasn't tripping. I knew that the rest, oh, I forgot that I got that in a yellow. Cause I think I got a blue one in store. Anyways, boom, here we go. Okay. so. They hooked it up with the stickers as per usual. We got some army men stickers. We got the FTP little uh, fuck collab stickers. This was actually spray painted on the building. Yo, if you did not see that video, go watch that video. That was insane. Like, I don't know. And in general, like for me, meeting Zach and a lot of people behind FTP, like that was a dope experience for me. Like, I look up to people like Zach and Eric and like these are people that in the streetwear community, like I just respect. And it's, for me as like a YouTuber, I feel like YouTube is not always respected like i feel like it's a relatively new space so some people might judge it people might think like oh it's weird that you're showing off clothes i've been in the streetwear for so many years bro so it's like i don't know it's just, it's just hard to explain and i'm not gonna lie like zach has had a lot of influence on me even starting my brand in terms of me actually like getting up and going so just in general it's like someone that i look up to someone that i respect and even after meeting him and how he handles things and just like what kind of person he is like it just kind of gave me even more respect for him as a human being but anyway so onto this little uh unboxing um so i got a size small jacket for some reason i thought i copped a large if you can sense the worry in my face it's because i actually already traded the large i don't know worst case scenario if not i'll just buy it off him i'm hoping that he's down to take a medium but regardless i wanted to cop two of these actually no the small fits me what the heck hey this is tight the small still fits me, so I'm pretty stoked on that. I think I might just keep this one right here. The only thing I'm kind of concerned about is the fact that this will fit me, but the pants are still kind of baggy. So I think I might cop the small track pants on resale. Maybe I'll resell my mediums and then buy the smalls online. But regardless, like this suit is so sick to me. As you can see, it's branded pretty heavily with fucked on the sleeve right there, but it has FTP just kind of like subtly placed all over. So when you get that 3M shot, it's gonna just shine like crazy. I would say the fit is a little bit baggier. Uh, obviously, if I can fit a small, and I normally can't fit a small anything, I'm usually medium or large, and the pants definitely fit baggier. I would definitely say that it, it fits a little bit big, so if you size down, you're probably still good. With the pants, definitely size down 100%, but overall, I'm, I'm sure you'll be fine regardless. And plus, you know, the baggy look is in, it still looks cool regardless. Like, even these baggier pants, they still look sick on me, I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, as you can see, we have this jacket again, we have a size medium now here are the track pants i think my chief complaint about the track pants chief complaint damn that's not a professional anyways my chief complaint is the fact that uh it has like this right here and i would have rather just had like elastic cuffs or something like that and the reason for that is because uh with this bead when you tighten it around your ankle this bead just kind of like flops around and it just, I don't know, it annoys me personally, but maybe that's just me. If you cop the pair, let me know if that bothers you at all. But I will say the quality of these are sick, bro. Like these are actually really nice to me. Like, and they're so dope. Like, I don't know, man. I feel like this collab was like, I mean, I guess I can't say it was slept on because obviously it does have a lot of hype and a lot of people do love this collab. 
But I just feel like it doesn't get the recognition that it deserves. Like, this is such a sick piece, and I feel like this would be one of those pieces, kind of like the FTP all over print hoodies. Like, those are just staples. Like, if you're a fan of FTP and you have an FTP collection, a lot of people like the FTP all over print hoodies. So, with the tracksuit, you were actually able to cop that online and in the pop up. I feel like that was probably the main item. They dropped a couple other pieces that were online and in the pop up, which include these long sleeves. Boom, here's the blue and red, size large, as you can see. But personally, was this like navy? This is a sick tee. I really like the yellow, honestly more than the blue. I don't know why I got the blue in store and then the yellow online. I feel like in store, I kind of like the blue. As you can see, it just has the brands right there and then it has it all the way down the sleeve and on the back as well. Now they had several pop exclusives. They had this one, which I felt like was a little bit more slept on. A lot of people actually that went to the pop-up didn't even realize this was a pop-up exclusive. And this is the uh, pig tee. As you can see, you have a uh, pig right here, which I believe is supposed to be a cop or a police officer, some kind of law enforcement individual. And then you have the two brands listed underneath that in red and blue. It's almost kind of like a pink though. Like the fucked is almost like in a darker pink. Now in my personal opinion, the highlights besides the tracksuit obviously include uh, this piece right here, right? It just has the fucked branding on the front and then the FTP branding on the back, but this is all 3M. So this thing shines. Even in the camera, it kind of shines more than it does in person. Obviously I don't have light just beaming off of it, but this thing is definitely shining. This thing is 3M shining on him. Birdman, get your shine on type of ish. Like this thing is definitely a sick piece. And this was a personal cop. This thing was just super sick. And on top of that, it's a pop -up exclusive. So if you did not go to the pop up, you were not able to acquire this. This did not sell online. And then another piece, which I think is super sick, is the PBR FTP collab. Now I'm not sure if this is like an official collab or if Zach was just like, yo, PBR is sponsoring the event. I'm gonna make some PBR shirts. Regardless though, they gave these out to everyone. I'm like so stoked that I got my hands on one ahead of time because honestly, when we went to the actual event, it was so hectic trying to get one. Like I was trying to get a second one and there, there was just no way. Like they were just throwing them out in the crowd and just, it was just impossible to get one. They handed them out to people that were there, but I got there a little bit late and it was free too. Like anyone who got that ticket, if you went to the event where Suicide Boys was performing, they just handed these out. They threw them out in the crowd. They threw out just boxes and boxes of them. The other piece that was pretty hype, they actually had this painted on the wall inside the pop-up. I think it's a super dope little piece. It says fight crime by a gun and it's got it in this like box logo graphic. One thing I did not notice actually until just now is it has the branding on the back of the neck as well. But yes, as you can see, it says fight crime by a gun in a red box logo and it says a fuck the population public service announcement. This is in navy and then of course it has the red box so it just kind of pops off that T. Now the most expensive piece by far is this right here. Now, a lot of people were tripping about this price tag. They were tripping that it was 275. I can kind of understand why your average consumer might think that, but from a collector standpoint, from someone like myself, like this is totally worth it to me. First of all, right, they threw that pop-up event and everyone who showed up got the free PBRT, right? Just a free T. If it was a situation of Zach being super money hungry, he could have sold those at the pop-up for, you know, suit like he could have just made bread off those teas instead he just gave those away that was dope to me i'm big on intention so i try to see whenever i judge someone's character or if i meet someone i try to look at them as a human being and i try to figure out okay why are they doing what they're doing and if they're doing something that just genuinely seems like dope like if they're just doing it because you know they they like their supporters and they want to give back to their supporters i fuck with that like i think that's dope and that's kind of what like the vibe that i got with those so with these, right, when I talked to Zach about the price, we didn't know the price yet, and he basically said that it's reasonably priced for what he paid for it. Basically, he's implying that he had to pay a lot to get these made, and I don't doubt it. This thing is huge. Like, this thing is no joke. So to get this custom made, this is a big freaking clay thing. Like, you probably have to get a stupid amount made for it to be basically for it to drop the price. Like, you have to get a, like, a gross large amount of these made in order for it to be like stupid cheap for him to make but even still right even if you don't account for how much it costs him like the reason i'm not really tripping on 275 is because this is 275 bucks but i'm gonna have this forever like i'm gonna have this for 10 15 20 years well i'm probably gonna have it longer than that i'll probably have it until i die like this will just be something that i have and that i want to keep to like remember that experience you know whenever i travel whenever i do things whenever i have like things that i want to remember usually i have an item that I keep to remember that, right? So for me personally, that experience at the pop was super fun. So I'll always have this as like a way to remember that. I always worry that when I'm showing it off, 
that it's like this top is gonna like fall off and break and then I'm not gonna have it but just overall it's a dope piece and like I said I look up to these brands FTP fuck these are brands that I've looked up to for many years and they're brands that I support heavy so for me I just think it's a dope piece to have in my personal it'll sit on my shelf and I will always keep this just as like a keepsake piece, you know? But that's my personal opinion. What do you guys think? Do you guys think the incense holder was worth it? What do you guys think of this collab? What do you guys think of these track pants especially or the track suit, I should say? I think the track suit is super hard. Overall, I think this collab was insane and I'm so excited for November. I guess it was supposed to be October, but I heard that the next FTP release got pushed back till November. I'm already looking forward to it, so... Uh, yeah, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys cop some stuff. If you guys did not cop some stuff, then of course follow FTP on all their social networks or follow me and I will try to keep you guys updated on any future drops, whether it be FTP, Supreme, Palace, all that stuff. Last but not least, I actually almost forgot to show these off, but we got these fucked FTP posters right here. And this is basically like, the these are the posters that they use to advertise for the event that they actually put up around the city. I got two of these. I got this one right here that I actually bought for $20 because I don't know, I just wanted one of them, and then when we got to the event, they were actually handing them out for free. So, I got another one, and uh, the reason, I wasn't really going to get another one because I kind of, I didn't really want to take something from someone if they wanted it, you know, for their personal, and since I already had one, but I wanted to get uh, Zach and Eric's signature, Zach from FTP, and then of course Eric from Fucked, as you can see, Zach, Eric, overall super dope, this is going to be like a piece that I just, I don't know, I was just stoked to get this, and uh... I'm not even a huge fan of the Army Men graphic, like the Toy Story Army Men, but I don't know, just to me, like, I thought this was sick and it's something that I can hang up or I can just keep and uh, just have in my collection, you know? So shout out to everyone. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. Of course, smash that like button. If you do not follow me on Instagram, change that. I will be styling some of these pieces on my Instagram, so make sure you go follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at the Starlet. There'll be some on the screen and in the description below. Of course, shout out to Fuck, shout out to FTP, and shout out to everyone who supports either of these brands and myself. Anyways, thank you for watching, and as always, keep living the Star Life. All this pain in my chest, I'm